gyrocopter up here somewhere. Don't fucking fly anywhere near me. Uh, he's underneath me, thank God. I don't want to go anywhere near that freaking road wash. G'day adventure lover. Local pilots have said it's going to be an epic day at Tiwa. And I'm keen to fly this rather difficult to access site. Tiwa's best access by four wheel drive. <laughs> you got to cross a ferry and then drive quite a long distance down a beach. <laughs> Rob's given us a lift today. Gonna beach him with the adventure bump. Yeah, Rob's talking about going down the beach with uh, full inflated tyres. That looks kind of solid. Looks yeah, pretty firm. Looks looking good. Doesn't look too bad at all. Tide's going out, eh? We're coming in. <laughs> Pretty firm the old beach, eh? This is great, mate, but, but you think, look at this slope, mm -hmm. it only has to come up a metre and it's gone. Yeah. Boys are saying you can get trapped here pretty easily. It doesn't take much of a tide to come in and the beach is not accessible. So we got a little uh, look out here that we launch off of. Tiny little site. We've got a hike up a uh, stairway to get to it. Sat around on launch for quite a while, waiting for the wind to come in. That uh, feels quite a light, but Rob's uh, pretty keen. He's going to go and wind sock and find out what's going on. Ooh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. He's still about the same. He's not going up though. So Rob maintained altitude, but sunk out as soon as he had to turn. Uh, he's going up straight away. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, good he's all good. So many pilots here that uh, we got a queue for takeoff. It's like a takeoff production line. A couple of guys are assisting with launch. They're trying to get one pilot off every minute. No pressure. Uh, all right, my turn. First Tiwa launch. See how I go. Gorgeous! Glad I wore my jacket. Wasn't quite sure whether I should wear it or not. Oh, look at that! We've got a seagull on my wingtip. Just filling out the lift here. So with these more shallow and sloping surfaces, you can move a bit behind them. You don't get too much radar. And uh, often the lift is more behind than it is directly on top or out in front. I'm told this sandy thing up here is, uh, is a real good lift generator, so you can see I'm sitting a bit lower than the other wings generally, it's because I'm heavy, so many beers. There it is, there it is, look at that, that's what we want, now we're going up. <laughs> oh, this, this is gorgeous. Got a bit of height here. to get across this valley. This is where the Ventor is just fantastic. It, the speed bar is so efficient. So we're doing a nice crossing here, crossing this valley. I'm going to just keep going across until I feel some lift. Well, I'm well across now. Oh, I'm starting to feel a bit of lift here, so I might keep it in speed bar. Get back to story. Biggest soaring flight I've ever flown. You've got nearly 40 kilometers between the launch site and Double Island Point. With nice cliffs all the way in between. So apparently this uh, this beach is also a certified highway. You even get police on here with breathos and speed cameras. But of course it disappears when the tide comes in. You don't want to get stuck. So the risk of flying down here, you know, you can get caught out and bugger it. Let's just do it. Could probably come back and fly this back hill. Too busy enjoying the view. Didn't plan that very well. So that's what happens when you have a nice efficient wing. He's higher and he's faster. It's sitting lower than most of the other gliders. Just heavy on my wing. It's fast. But yeah, just because of the extra weight. They might also just be working the lift a lot better than me. More familiar with it. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, going up here. Trouble, not working the lift well enough. So I think what they're doing is they're just skipping past these low ridges. 
and then work in the lift on the high ones. Woohoo! Getting, getting turbulent up here. Getting better at this. This ridge just goes forever. Another big valley to cross, wide one this one. Fucking gyrocopter up here somewhere, don't fucking fly anywhere near me. Oh, uh, he's underneath me, thank god. There he goes. I don't want to go anywhere near that freaking rotor wash. <laughs> Had Nair flying with me the whole way. He's using me as a windsock, watching what the air's doing and using me to find the lift. The silly thing is, I've got no idea what I'm doing. First time flying here, I'm just winging it. Well, this is definitely getting tougher. We're working the spurs now as we go around. The wind's getting more cross. Sort of toying with the idea of turning back. Getting pretty low here. In fact, yeah. I don't think I'm going to make it, so I'm going to go back. I reckon I could fly all the way down to Double Island Point, but I don't think I'll make it back. Look, I'm getting good lift where there's ridges, but it's crossing those valleys into the headwind that's going to be a real challenge. So, yeah, my gut feeling is if I don't turn back now, I'm stuffed. Yeah, I'm not really climbing up, so it's time to go back. Made it a fair way. Not a lot of lift here. And I've got a fair way to go before I hit a decent ridge. This headwind's killing my glide ratio. I might sink out on this one. Let's see how we go. Oh, this is going to be tight. This is going to be a tight crossing. Might have to get in nice and close and work that lift off that ridge there. Feel the burn on my bloody quads. Yeah, my Alex, you can do this. You can do this. Well, this isn't looking good. I'm 30 k's from the launch point. I don't want to sink out. That doesn't look like there's any options along here for relaunching. So the wind is not moving in the direction of the waves. So it's a bit deceiving. Keep going. Keep going. Speed bar. Getting a bit of lift off the ridge in front of me now. Oh, yeah, okay. Should be able to get back from here. Could have kept going and I would have made it to the end, I reckon. But I very much doubt I would have made it back. Right, crossing this valley with a headwind. I'm still in lift. So I'll keep my brakes on while I've still got lift. As soon as I pop out of it, it feels like I'm out there. Put that there. Speed bar on. Brakes totally off. Get a bit of speed bar now. That should be fine. Right there. Let's come in and take advantage of these uh, features. Get a bit of lift out of them. <laughs> Just gotta stay in real tight here. It's the only way I'm gonna make it. Oh, a bit of lift. Nice. Sailing on the lake over there. Lots 
Dawson Lake. Beautiful mountains in the background. Oh, lovely place to fly. Well, I didn't fly all of Tiwa, but that was incredible. And it took a really long time. That was hours of flying to fly to where I got to and back. Got the minis having a bit of fun. for a tandem top landing. <laughs> Guess Joshy needs to be pulled out of the sky. If you pull the A's, your frontal, yeah, and it'll, it'll want to go down, yeah. Pull the brakes and sit back into the power zone. Yeah. Now, I can now release this to you as slowly as you like. Yeah, just like launching a kite. Don't let it pull back. That's it. Yeah, keep pulling with that hip and use that brake. That's it. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. She's yours. Oh. <laughs> Rob's practicing his top landings. Looks like he's doing bloody good. Woohoo! <laughs> A lot of people seem to be having fun up here. Yeah, it's been great. I'm like... I got hungry. I landed at a feed. Yeah, me too. But um, I, I scoffed it down and I ran back up because I wanted to. I wanted to get a bunch of top landings. In. Oh yeah. So... Been some good. Uh, some good tree landings by the look of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just, it, it catches you out a little bit just as you put your, just as you land, it wants to pick you up again a little bit. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do it. So, oh, I've put my wing in the trees enough. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Joshy for a death spiral to landing. Let's see how he goes. Woohoo! Hey, now he's getting put to the test. So we're oh, leaving. No nice soft sand. Yeah, tide's getting pretty high. We had an epic day. We did. How'd we go, boys? We had yeah, an epic nice. day. Very good. So if you like this kind of positive adventure content, don't be a slug. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment. These things keep me motivated to make these videos. And check out a few of these other adventures.